Normally, I would tell you exactly what's going on in an experiment. However, this time, I'd like to hear from all of you. What do you think's going on here? As you can see, that's not paper. That's not uh, foil. What it is is a piece of packing material or styrofoam type material. So let's see what it does. Uh, not quite lifting. It's clinging. And then it lifts. Oh, and it, oh. That's pretty cool. I bet a lot of people right now are taking an eye on wind. Is it? Let's see the next one. Now we have some paper in there. It's got some sharp edges, guys. Look at it. Oh, it's just bouncing in between. Is this a little bit more of two fields and something going in between it for a little levitation effect? This is the power source behind the whole thing. Let's take a look. So the actual experiment is pretty small. And we can see on the very left side that we have a DC power supply. We can see on the right side we have a motor driver. And then we can see up on the top we have a DC flyback transformer. So we know that there's high voltage going on and we know that the high voltage is actually adjustable. So here's all the parts for it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at possibilities that this could be. This right here is possibility number one, levitation. We've all probably watched this on the plasma channel. You have an anode on the top, a cathode on the bottom, it's high voltage, and in between you have a piece of tin foil. It works on changing the actual charges in an item in order to get it to levitate where it is. Here are the charges as you can see right here. Negative on the top, positive on the bottom. The negative goes up to the negative and the positive is subtracted also to the bottom. Now this experiment cannot work with sharp edges on the top. It has to be rounded. On the bottom it doesn't matter so much. So, is this a possibility? This is possibility number two. It's ion wind. This is an ion wind lifter. It has a high voltage wire on the top, aluminum on the bottom. Positive goes to the top and negative goes to the aluminum on the bottom. Now it also has to work with a sharp edge on the top and then it has to be a rounded edge at the bottom where it starts and then as it goes down you can get any kind of crazy you want and it'll still work. However, it still works between two high voltage fields. Like I said, the high voltage is a flyback transformer to get this one to work as well. The wind is created between the top wire and the bottom aluminum and it forces the item to go up because the weight is reduced enough that the wind will actually propel it up. Is this a possibility of what's going on here? So let's throw a curveball at the ion wind people out there. Because they always tell me everything's ion wind. So, let's reverse the field. Negative on top, positive on bottom. What happens? It actually pull down to the table below. Also in ion wind, if you do not separate the table itself from the ion lifter, in most cases it will not lift. Why? Because the polarization of the charges will suck it down to the table. So is it still ion lift? Let's see if we have another possibility. Let's go a little old school with this one. This is a static electricity experiment. It works by putting paper on the ground. Then you charge your body with static electricity and the paper will actually lift to your hand. This experiment works because the negative is actually the ground itself and the positive is the static electricity. It gets the object charged and as it's charged it'll lift towards the positive charge. Now this isn't ion wind at all, this is charged particles. So is this a possibility? Is this something that uh, that's going on here? Let's go ahead and take a look at the experiment one more time. This was the second one, this is the paper. As you see, it sits in between two fields. 
Now there's no change in the electricity in this guys between what's going on right here in this experiment and what goes on in the next one. It's the same power source. As you can see we got a foam type material here or you know a, a different type of material anyway. More like a scrubber pad type of material here. Anyway it has different properties as it lifts here. It is not the same type of lift. But the power source is the same. So, is it the same thing? Is it the same process going on here? Guys, this is a question for you, not for me. So you tell me in the comments. What do you think it is going on here? Is there more than one effect going on here? Is it basically just ion wind like everybody claims everything is? Or is there something more going on here? Let me know. If you like what you saw here today, please like, share, subscribe, and make sure you comment on this video, and have yourself a great day. Thank you very much.